Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we might have another SBC returning to FIFA 22 that was a very popular SBC one week ago. In my opinion, that is the campaign bag player pick pack that we saw last week on Tuesday. I think it might, just might, make its return today, this Tuesday, today, as a part of Fantasy Foot Team number two. So I want to take a look at that content, how that could affect the market, what that SBC would be once again, maybe the potential for it, including Fantasy Foot cards from Team 2. Again, it's a player pick, so it's not going to be a, a new SBC code, like a pack code that we would see added. Like last week, that SBC was a surprise. Apart from the leak like an hour beforehand, that was a brand new SBC. I think that it could be coming out, or another type of gamble pack could be released on the game today on Tuesday. So I want to take a look at that, of course, take a look at yesterday's content with the Malin SBC and the 81 plus player pick that was released. A lot of people spamming these player picks to try to craft Mbappe, the 92 plus moments upgrade. It's making that SBC just a little bit cheaper for some people. And then also yesterday, EA ran lightning rounds on a Monday. That was a big surprise. They didn't run them right away at 6 p.m., but they ran them at 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Uh, they ran lightning round packs. I think they did three hours straight. Uh, of those lightning rounds. I don't know if they're doing any late night ones. I have not seen any just yet as I've been watching the market late tonight, but um, that was kind of a surprise as well. And that's kept fodder prices kind of low, but fantasy foot cards have exploded after rewards, which is what we talked about in last night's video as well. If you guys were able to pick any of these up around that weekend league rewards time frame, Anthony Marshall is just one example of a card who exploded in price. This dude went from 710 low 700s He's now up, he was up over 800,000 coins, like the whole entire team or most of the squad. Sissoko was like 400K, he's now 460. Martinelli was um, 490, now he's 550. A lot of cards from Team 1 and also still Team uh, team 2 and Team 1. A lot of these cards from the first team last week keep rising as well. I've started to clear out just a couple of these cards. I mean, I was selling Klosterman's at 457 today because I was pretty happy with that profit. And look, this guy's pushing 470, 480. These cards are just so incredibly rare. That one just got bought at 460. There's only two cards right now from Klosterman to 490. So like some of these cards are just really, really rare and they keep going up in price. So I want to cover that part of the market and how that could be still headed throughout this week, dependent on the content today, if it is a coin drain gamble pack type of SBC. So if you're excited for that potential campaign player pick today, hit a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Now, if you're like, Nate, what in the world is this SBC? This is the one that was dropped last week. Now, again, I want to say there's no guarantee. There's no leaks. There's no uh, like certainty this SBC is coming. I just think it would be very EA-esque, very EA-like to re-release this SBC. It focuses on the live cards. Again, as you guys remember, right? Yes, there's ones to watch included, which is an L, but numbers up, road to the final, headliners, and they also included Fantasy Foot Team Number 1 in this pack last week. I could very easily see in them add Fantasy Foot Team 2 as a part of this this week for Tuesday, or you know, if it's not this player pick, some other um, some other sort of player pick or upgrade pack SBC that they've released before. Hopefully, not the year in review because I know people love that, but I think that SBC is terrible this time around. It's so far delayed. These this SBC at least gives out cards that are currently in the game or road to the finals or headliners that are still usable. Some of them uh, in this game right now, but. That's kind of the SBC I think we could have today, right? Tuesdays the past couple weeks, not even just last week as a part of Team 1 of Fantasy Foot. Tuesdays have been pretty good content days. Like last Tuesday, we had this campaign bag, which really shook up the market a lot. And we had the Mikel Antonio SBC. Of course, I don't know if we're going to have another player SBC today. We don't have any other leaks for player SBCs as of right now. We have no leaks in total, which is fine, right? Give us a little bit of a, a question mark heading into today, right? That's why we can talk about this potential of this happening today because there's no like, oh yeah, we know it's coming. This is what I just think is going to happen. Might not happen, but I think some sort of gamble pack is going to happen today. Now, if it is this one, again, what you would probably see is a lot of movement on the market uh, because people would have to go out and sell some cards to get the player pick done. Now, like you see here, when this was released, it was 65,000 coins and it was repeatable two times. So about 150K, a little bit less than that is what some people had to set aside to go and do this SBC. Now, fodder is very low at the moment, so this SBC would be even cheaper right now. It was 84 rated with two Team of the Weeks. 84 rated right now 
are like 3,000 coins a piece. This SBC, I think right now would be like 50K to do. It'd be so cheap. Informs have dropped back down a little bit as well. So this would be an SBC that so many people would go out and do. And what I think you would see then is you would see a lot of the market, the out of packs market, you see a lot of those middle to low tier cards, like cards that are 200K and lower, you would see some drops on those. And it'd be a potential to flip them, right? Like last week, I remember um, I was buying, I think, some Spinazolas for like a 150. He didn't rebound that incredibly well. I remember watching like this Dominton Sanchez, this Neuer, because a lot of people that want to go and do an SBC like that, they have to maybe go sell a card from their team to go get, get that SBC done. So that's what I want you guys to watch out for today is some of those lower tier cards that get panic sold off. And even some of the higher tier ones, like, um, you know, I believe last week, this Quadrado went down from like 80K down to 65 or something like that. He never really rebounded. But you had cards like this Mane that went down. Ansu Fati went down, I remember. Mares was down. And those cards rebounded in price in the next day or two because they were kind of rare. So... Today could be a day where, especially if we have leaks, if an SBC like this is going to be coming, or if we have any leaks about any sort of gamble, party bag, player pick SBC, I would watch those leaks and I would watch the market for panic selling because today could be a day where there's a lot more market movements as of yesterday where there really wasn't that much. Now, on the flip side of things, I would expect fodder to shoot up in price. 84s definitely would be up. Be up. 83s, probably 85s a little bit as well would jump up in price because that would be an SBC that so many people would want to go out and do. And of course, it would also be very craftable at the moment with the 81 plus player picks that we have here in the store. So a lot of people would be able to go out and do that. There's fodder in people's clubs right now, especially on the lower tier. Now, I know people with lower tier fodder may have been crafting Madueke. People may have been crafting Antonio before he goes away. Perisic in the last couple days that he is live. Even the Malin from yesterday, not that great of value, but I think people would get it done. Play of the month in Cuckoo. People may be getting that done. Courtois. So that's the kind of stuff that today on this game, I think you're going to see uh, happen if we do get a gamble type of pack like that. You're going to see that fodder go up. You're going to see those cards in that, you know, 200 to 300,000 coin range and below have a little bit of sell off and then potential bounce back depending on what the card is. So definitely watch out for that. Now, again, like we said with fodder, it's it's still low, right? I did a club stock last night right around and before the weekend league rewards time frame. Um, I was picking up 85s, right? Around, you know, seven and a half to 8,000 coins, especially for some of the higher uh, the better ones with the, the chemistry with the links and stuff and these cards are still right around 8k right and you still have a lot of your 84s they're around 3,000 coins because ea ran those lightning rounds yesterday there was you know no stoppage of supply on these cards and it just continues to keep these cards at a pretty low price but again a gamble pack like we often see on tuesdays would turn this thing around just a little bit even if they ran lightning rounds today i think you would see fodder that would go up and if you guys invested like i did right i sent i did a whole entire club stock of 84s to 85s but i still have got some 88 ramoses here on the transfer list right and some of this other fodder that i packed from player picks sending the tradable versions up here right you can see i bought griezmann for 7900 i bought cavani for 7900 i bought tiago silva 8000 coins this type of stuff just hold just hold on to it right because it is going to rise at some point. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. It just all depends on the content that EA drop. That's how it always is with fodder. So we were hoping that that might be as early as today or tomorrow, Tuesday or Wednesday of this week, but it might be later on this week. It might be next week. It just depends on the content that EA drop, right? It's one of those investments where you got to have a little bit of patience. You know that it's low. You just got to wait for it to go back up. So that's if you're holding fodder, that's kind of the mindset for you right now is just Nice and hold on until EH Sports decides to drop some more SBCs and this fodder will go up in price very easily, I think, um, and because there'll be SBCs that people want to do. So just kind of be holding on for that. Now, again, let's get back into the market side of things. What happened yesterday? Of course, we had the 81 plus player pick, which everybody is crafting right now. Yes, it's only a one of two, but it is an 81 plus and people just see this as a W, even though it's a small L for what we were hoping. We love the three option player picks, but the two options will do, especially after last week, getting the 82 plus upgrade. That was no bueno, right? That was not good. And then, of course, we did have the Malin SBC, which is, you know, coming in, I think, at right around 130, 130,000 coins is what Flippin says. I don't think it's a disgustingly terrible price. I just think it's a little bit overpriced. 
and it would be a lot more worth it if they upgraded the weak foot. That's what everybody's going to look for with this card. Uh, but again, like I've heard many other people say, this guy, his gold card at the beginning of the game was so good for starter squads. He was so such a beast. So if you're doing player picks this week and you have nothing else to put your fodder into, um, you know, 82, 86 rated squads, the 86 seems a bit much, but Pacey Striker in the Bundesliga for your Bundesliga untradeable team, it's not going to get too much better than this for some pace up there at the striker position. So not bad at all for Malin, in my opinion. Uh, now, again, like I mentioned, we have no other leaks for uh, player SBC. So unless EA is going to drop something extra, we might be done with player SBCs. Hopefully there's one more like later on the week, you know, Wednesday or Thursday or something like that. But again, we are coming towards the end of this fantasy foot promo, right? It's, it's kind of funny that these, these cards are going out of packs, but this Friday also starts when the, the, the domestic leagues coming back and these cards potentially getting upgraded based off of their game performances. So that is kind of why with that time frame coming in mind, I might be selling here a little bit too early on a few of these cards, but I'm just happy with these prices, right? 25K of profit per card on Nani. He just didn't go up as much as some of the others. I bought this Lucas Mora at 760, sold it for 900. And then I started to kind of trickle out my Klosterman's 440 to 450. But like we looked at, uh, you know, he continues to go higher. This guy is like 400, I believe, and 70,000 coins at the moment, right? These cards just keep getting more rare and they keep going higher. And, you know, maybe today with a with the Gamble Pack SPC or something like that, they could drop a little bit with people trying to get some coins. But again, if you don't have any need for those coins right away, um, then you don't you don't have to sell them, right? I'm still holding on to some John Stones who's extinct at 480k. There's one sitting on the market. Um, actually, it's it's gone. But even with a little bit of an injury scare, people think that Stones is going to come back this weekend, and still Man City going to play. Still potentially he's going to get in a side as well, and have potential for upgrades. So that's what we like about a card like him. Um, and I still do have a couple of those other uh, fantasy foot cards on my transfer list. And if you guys are holding those, I mean, I don't, I don't think there's too much to be scared about with those. Those are probably still going to stay high unless EA drops an absolute madness today, which I don't think it would be a madness. I just think it would be a day of content that would be a lot more fun to interact with, a lot more market movement with some sort of like gamble pack SBC uh, other than what we had yesterday, which was pretty, pretty much a quieter day. But again, that's why the team one and the team two have continued to go up big and stay up big in price. Well, the team one specifically, the out of packs nature, again, I feel like we use Jelson as the the example here, like every single time. This guy is not even that far away from 700,000 coins. He might be 700K. He is 690, 672. This guy has gone up the most percentage point wise out of any of the cards that were released in packs for fantasy team number one. I mean, Kamavinga was in the low 500s. He's up 100K, but this Jelson card is up 200,000 coins from its lowest point. This dude has absolutely flown in price. So, you know, if you're holding on to some of these still, again, I, I rate it. I, I definitely rate it. And if you bought any of these cards yesterday at Rewards, I rate that as well. You can, you know, the rises that you saw in these cards yesterday. So, you know, if they continue to run lightning rounds this week, like again, Sissoko was 400, now he's 455, right? We could see a few more dips on these cards. And if you remember actually last week with Fantasy Team number one, these cards actually hit their lowest point during that Wednesday time frame with the uh, marquee matchups, with the um, division rivals rewards on that Thursday. It was kind of their lowest day. Some of the cards stayed low into Friday um, as Team 2 is getting released. Now, what really affects this team this week is if we get good content today, if we continue to get lightning rounds, and then lightning rounds Wednesday or Thursday, and then leaks about what is next. Again, part of the reason why I think these are going up right now is because they're alive. Their potential to get upgrades really soon is coming, right? April 1st is this Friday, and we don't know what promo is next. We have no idea what is going to be next for us um, after this is over. So I think that's why people are like, all right, I don't know what's next. Might be no promo. We have no information at the moment. And that's why they're going out and buying these cards because it's the next and best thing and the newest thing that they can try out. So that's why these cards continue to rise up, in my opinion, a decent amount. If we do have more lightning rounds today, if we do have a big time SBC, they could drop a little bit. But if, especially if you're wanting to buy anything for your team, like even if, if it's a higher tier card like a Coutinho um, or if it's a lower tier card, like maybe that uh, like the Vertonghen or, or the Bundesliga center back. Uh, Hinkape from Leverkusen. If you want, to, if you're wanting to buy any of those cards, um, I, I would still say that we're holding off on these. I would still say that it's better to wait off until later on in the week, just to see what happens, just to see what leaks come out, 
just to see what EA does content wise. It's it's better to risk it a little bit. I don't see these cards going incredible amounts higher from now until then, unless EA literally just goes to sleep and drops no content and no lightning rounds. That's the only way that I see these cards rising up uh, like a lot more before we get to that point. So um, I think that you still want to chill with some of these cards if you want to buy them, unless you're trying them for like a day or two. I would just chill with them and not spend too much time worrying about right now. Is it the time to buy? I, I kind of push that off until later on in the week this week. Now, a couple other things. Player picks for me were absolutely paying out. Yesterday, I did maybe, I don't know, like 20 or something player picks like that. Sets of three is the way, by the way. Uh, I packed up, or I picked up an Alexandro. I actually packed four of these cards yesterday. I picked up an Alexandro from like one of my first few picks. Um, I also packed a Pedro right wing and Vertonghen twice, which helped out with one squad of the Mbappe. But I really got to get going on this Mbappe because again, like I'm talking about, if they're going to release some of these SBCs, that means that fodder is going to go up on the mid tier as well. Um, so if my 85s, 86s and stuff are going to go up, then I got to get working on these 87 squads and the uh, 88 rated squads. So I did pack a couple informs, but the, the 81 plus player picks haven't given out for me like the higher tier fodder. I packed more promo cards than higher tier fodder. And I'm sitting here doing this SBC and I'm like, EA, come on now. Like give me a couple cards that I can use. Uh, as, you know, I'm wanting like the Ramos. I'm wanting the cards like 89 to 90 rated. Uh, even though they're the golds, because I really want to put these into the SP, uh, to the Mbappe grind and the Mbappe craft. Now, I'm just going to do one of these for the video right now. I know a lot of you guys have been doing them, and one player pick probably isn't going to change everything, but we'll give it a shot because you never know. But um, I, I'm just hoping to hit some more of that higher tier fodder, and EA has been uh, not allowing me to do that at the moment. So hopefully, as we get our 30 chemistry, boom, we will do that. And hopefully... I can pick up some higher rated fodder. I'm going to be doing these throughout the week this week. I know coins are precious at the moment, but this is an incredible opportunity with a lot of special cards and packs. You've got a full fantasy foot team two and a mini release, and you've got the road to the final mini release with Tiago, Lucas Hernandez, Tal um, not Taliso, but Depay, uh, and those guys in packs. So that's why I'm doing these at the moment. Um, boom. Okay. Mendy, whatever, 83 rated. But, you know, I didn't have the bronze squad equipped, right? The bronze squad has helped me out with some pack luck. So make sure you get that bronze squad equipped if you're opening those player picks. That's what I'm going to be doing a lot of this week. Now, there'll be more market movements and I'll try to make some more coins since I'm kind of on that chase. And I haven't really vocalized this, but it's something I've been thinking of a lot in my head is I'm really trying to hit that 20 mil coins mark um, before team of the season, which I know team of the season is still going to be a couple weeks away. But I'm really trying to hit that... Uh, that 20 mil coins mark, and I'm not that far off. So we're we're pushing towards it. We're seeing success. The, the trading slowed down a little bit after this weekend, uh, but I'm hoping to pick that up today. And if there is a big SBC today that has dropped, that could create some more movements on the market to try to trade in and out of. So we're gonna keep attempted, attentive to that whole situation and hopefully EA dropped some banger content for us today. Good luck if you guys are crafting. I know people are trying to craft that 92 plus moments. Uh, you know, it's really not good value, but if you're going for it because you want to try it and get something big, GLs, um, and hopefully your, pl your player pick luck is great um, and you get really good fodder and some maybe untradeable pulls from the fantasy foot, right? Because if you're packing promo cards right now, they're all live with the potential to upgrade and that's the coolest part about packing these dudes at the moment. So, Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. A little bit of a shorter one, but you know, that's that's what happens on a day like yesterday when there wasn't just that much to talk about on the game. 81 plus player picks and uh, a player SBC that not too many people are interested in. Everybody's grinding the player picks. Everybody's crafting SBCs. And that's kind of be what people are doing in this game until something changes um, with the content, which hopefully could be today. So if you want to watch it change today on Tuesday, we'll see and we'll react and kind of survey the market with everything that happens live on Twitch. Link down below in the description if you have not checked us out on there. But that's going to be the video for today, boys. Happy Tuesday. Good luck with your crafting. Good luck with your 81 plus player picks. Again, if you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.